So, NBA Youngboy calls the headlines. <laughs> the man came out with a song yesterday called Testimony. And a lot of people are saying he admitting to getting people killed. And a lot of people are also saying that he basically responded to the six-hour documentary that Trap Lord Ross made about him because he said real killer or fake gangster. And I think the video with Trap Lord Ross said real gangster or fake killer. And basically, NBA Youngboy said, I ain't even squeezed that trigger. That was that money bag that got him or something like that. And I'm to the point where I'm going to say this. I think young boy bipolar, man. I think that's what the problem is, man. One second, this man <laughs> is begging for help and attention. The very next minute, he coming out with music. Talking about murders, killing, and getting people killed. The next minute... He, I'm very shy. And then the next minute, bang, bang, bang. One minute, it's, oh, um, dump. This is a letter to dump. We got to stop the violence. And then the next minute, it's another song. And it's just like, man, listen, man. We can't keep coming out with these people with these bipolar contradicting ass statements, bro. It's either you want peace, you want the violence to end, or you don't, bro. And, 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 and you got to start taking action with that and lead with what you do. If you a rapper, bro, it's just like with Lil Dirt. I don't get it, bro. These contradictory statements that y'all make, y'all music ain't aligning with it, man. If you really want peace, sometimes you got to sacrifice the money. You can't say, well, how I'm supposed to make money if y'all don't listen to my peaceful music. But then say, we need to stop the violence and end the violence. So which one is it? Do you want peace or do you want money? Because it's obvious you can't have both. So to me, y'all are choosing the money every time. Ain't no peace, man. Ain't none of that getting pushed, bro. Now, young boy, you better be careful because a lot of people are already insinuating that Trap Lord Ross with them documentaries. And I tell y'all, it's two things you got to watch out for. Documentaries detailing specific events and timelines and interviews about murders and crimes that you were either present for, telling stories about it, or you actually did. Those can get you wrapped up. Regular bloggers, you know what I mean? That's he say that you can't, you know what I mean? That's hearsay. But when it's coming out your mouth and you kind of stamping what Trap Lord Ross is saying, it's not about can they prove it. It's about don't give them the lead to start investigating on proving it. You see what I'm saying? Because they can't take Trap Lord Ross documentary and say, well, he did it because Trap Lord Ross said he did it. They can't do that. And they also can't take what you said in that song and say, well, he did it. But what they can say is, let's take Trap Lord Ross documentary. Let's take his song and investigate him further on what he's doing to find potential evidence or clues that will tie this man to these crimes, bro. So it, it's almost like rappers play. They hate the media so much, but they'll play off the media for clicks and views, because that's what it seemed like to me. You seen the documentary, and you wanted to add a little bit of the documentary, because the documentary going viral, and you basically like, shit, if he going to get paid and views off my name, I'm going to use it too, and we, I'm going to take it and make it even bigger. And it's just like, come on, man. Now, to go as far as saying he admitting murders, I just don't know what's wrong with young boy, man. I don't know why you would say something like that, man. What's wrong with y'all, man, for real, bro? Like, and then he making a song called Testimony about how my mom is stuck. I, I think young boy got an illness or something too, and it's making him bipolar. I think that boy go through so much. And let me tell y'all something too. Not saying young boy got people killed or killed people. It's a lot of killers though, or a lot of people that got something to do with somebody murder, where it don't affect them immediately. But night at the night at the night. Them murders and them dead people on your brain at their night, at their night, at their night. And remember, he can't consume all the drugs. Drugs is a good way to 
you know, it don't heal you, but what it does is block everything out. Now we seeing them drinking Four Locos, smoking Tone, anything that can, you know, exacerbate, uh, basically dilute the situation that go on his brain. We see him trying. We ain't see young boy drinking Four Locos back in the day. He was drinking lean. You feel what I'm saying? But he can't because if he drink, he can't drink that. We ain't see young boy smoking Tune and K2. We seen him smoking weed and all that, but he can't. So now we watching him do anything. And that might be what's wrong with him. Not trying to pin nothing on him, but a lot of people catch that body, but they don't know they mind. Don't be mentally prepared to catch that body. Your mind don't be mentally prepared to live on the deeds that you have done. So what happens is it eats you alive and your dreams become nightmares. You see what I'm saying? So then you start acting sporadic. One second you find, and then when all the stuff come on your brain, now you, oh, I'm shy, and the people do evil things, and I'm very scared of people. Yeah, you're scared of people, because you know it's people like you out here. You feel what I'm saying? You become a realization that I ain't the only person like this out here. I could get done like this out here. And then people accuse you of killing your old friends. Them memories stay there. You feel what I'm saying? Them memories of y'all laughing, kicking it. Uh, getting girls together, all that's still up there. So just because y'all fall out later on in life don't mean them good times still don't creep up. And that could we'll eat with you because you mixing God with the devil, bro. God put us on earth to love and care. And now you beef with people that you used to love and care for. That's the God side. And then they end up getting killed or you behind it or whatever may happen. Y'all start beefing. Then when they do die, that's the devil. So now you got... Two in your head, which causes what? Being bipolar. So, I don't know what the hell going on with young boy. All I know, man, that boy better find God, man. You know, get baptized, find God. We in the end of times anyway, man. Um, but I'm, this is to all rappers. If you really want peace, bro, y'all going to start having to sacrifice some money for it, man. And if you don't, keep getting all the money you want. Keep destroying these kids' ears with the devil music y'all put out and keep, you know, being who y'all is, which is absolutely nothing because y'all obviously don't know who you are because in the song, young boy also said he missed his old self. Y'all let me know in the comment sections how y'all feel about this, man. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to the channel and y'all make sure y'all share this video, man. Y'all boy calls the headlines from his new song, man, so I don't know what's going to happen from it. But it's kind of do look like nigga, he ain't denied what Trap Lord Ross was saying in the videos at all. So Trap Lord Ross, I don't know. You might have been right. Let me know how y'all feel. King AK47, Voice of the Streets. I'm out.